actor Jeremy Irvine made his feature film debut about five years ago in Steven Spielberg's Academy Award nominated movie War Horse as a young soldier on a quest to find his horse that was sold to the cavalry. Well, now Jeremy stars in the new movie Stonewall, based on the Stonewall riots of 1969, playing a young man named Danny who moves from the Midwest to New York City, ultimately becoming part of the modern gay rights movement. Good morning, Jeremy. Nice to Jeremy. Nice Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, I'm in your freezing so, studio. <laughs> <laughs> the ladies have been complaining. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so, so what drew you to the part of play, to playing the part of Danny? Um, well, a lot of things. I think mostly that I didn't know a huge amount about the Stone movement. I mean, I knew of it, but not enough. And, mm -hmm. you know, I think it's kind of disgraceful that it's not taught in schools um, across the world. But um, also, there was a fact at the end of the script that 40% of the homeless youth in America today identify with being LGBT, mm -hmm. which, you know, 40% of the population aren't LGBT. So why are 40% of the homeless youth in America LGBT kids? And that's, I think that's really what this movie's about. More, you know, it's, I mean, these kids get caught up in the Stonewall riots, but it's kind of more about these kids like just trying to survive on the streets day to day. You mentioned Stonewall. I mean, listen, mm. after the Supreme Court decision, the streets were flooded with the people yeah. in front of it. The president yeah. mentioned Stonewall in his inaugural speech yeah. Yeah. on the second inauguration. To your point, a lot of people still not aware of what that location, what that movement, mm -hmm. what happened there meant to the LGBT movement. Absolutely. And, you know, I mean, the, 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 so the gay rights movement had been going on for a little time, but mm -hmm. this is what started the pride parades. This yeah. is what started the marches. And it's, uh, yeah, it's really cool to be a part of a story that, that, that can kind of help spread that message in, in any way. But, um, you know, it's lovely. And this film also, you know, there was, there was, also, there was a huge number of different um, kind of minorities that were involved in the riots. You know, um, I know people have been kind of uh, talking about our movie, with, we had a trailer that had a bit of a, a controversy of around it. Yeah, yeah. A lot of, because it, the trailer portrays, it appears that Danny is throwing yeah. the first brick. I mean, I'm not in charge of film marketing. Which is not what really um, happened. No, not really. really and actually doesn't happen in our film. Like, right. you know, the, so movie the does, trailer was cut. Marsha P. Johnson is a, is a huge part of our film. Um, you know, it's kind of about this very diverse group of, um, of homeless street kids kind of in the middle. Um, and then my character, I basically play the audience's eyes. So mm -hmm. we just see, we meet all these people through my character um, so they are all there I promise um, and yes. you know Marsha is such a wonderful part and we're kind of uh, yeah it's, it's, it's been amazing actually you know with although there has been some sort of press about sort of things so I do think the trailer is slightly misleading um, yes. uh, you know I've, I was out at a bar last night and people are coming up to me asking me about the movie and they're, you know I'm hearing the name Marsha P. Johnson I'm hearing the name Sylvia Rivera and you know and the word Stonewall and things like that from so many more people I think would have ever heard about it before yeah. You've had um, a lot of success already. Your name is becoming more and more prominent. War Horse is one. This is going to put you in, to an entirely different level. Um, how are you as a young actor from rural England handling all that? Yeah, um, I mean, it's, it's not a world I ever imagined I'd get into. I trained in theater and, you know, I'm from a very small village called Gamlingay. In, in England. I now live in London, representing. There you go. Uh, but, uh, yeah, like, we're kind of, uh, it is odd. But, I mean, I think people expect suddenly your life to, like, completely change. I mean, the main difference is I can now go work and yeah, I'm doing my hobby for a job, which is super cool. But, um, you know, you're not you're not going out and buying yachts yet, you know. <laughs> yes. 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 However, people let you on their yachts. Right, right. So that's kind of cool. Right? <laughs> One step at a time. Yeah. One step at a time, yeah, yeah. Jeremy, thank you so much. Thanks so much for having me. Hits theaters Friday and we'll... Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.